Howdy, hey, this is Tom Hilton. I'm here to uh, guide you through how to use Hilton's Real Time Navigator. Uh, of course, start here to log in and um, put in whatever uh, username and password you got, and it'll take you straight to your login page. It'll show your username, your your uh, expiration date in the regions that you have. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Northwest Gulf and so it automatically comes in and shows you a three-dimensional bottom representation. Um, so come over here. This is your action icon. It's on the upper left corner. You want to hit save map and it'll save this chart plus all the waypoints. It'll update your waypoint file. Um, I go in every so often and uh, update the positions of drill ships and semi-submersibles and so forth. Um, a lot of things you can do here on the uh, action icon. You can manage maps. This is where you go to uh, review your chart inventory. And um, you can uh, remove them. Um, this is a kind of a cool chart here. It's, it's got this... Uh, Call it a Wahoo Vortex. That's a whole other story uh, coming up. But you can save those for uh, uh, log, you know, log them in and and see look look back later and see why did you catch your fish on that spot on that day back in 2019 or whatever. That's a whole other thing. I'll, I'll get into that later. Um, so going back into manage maps. Oops, manage maps. I said. <laughs> um, so you just pick whatever chart that you want to look at and um, you say well you know I still need that one let me there's a so you can and take you can have all of these in your nav system uh, to take with you as you uh, to refer to when you're out out there navigating outside of cell range so here's one I just kind of I don't know why I saved it it's not a very good one so let's get rid of it you hit remove you say are you sure you want to remove it yes so now it's out of your uh, inventory um, and when you're uh, you're going through all of these different uh, uh, images you know you'll be going in and saving charts and then you'll be deleting charts and so when you go into the nav app rt nav nav navigation app uh, you hit reload charts and you're updating your chart inventory so it's deleting the charts that you wanted to delete and it's adding the new charts that you wanted to add and then that's a whole other thing i'll get into here as well is how to use the nav app and especially in conjunction with our new system called Sat2Nav. It's a satellite to navigation system we're real excited about. Again, a um, lot to cover here, so I want to keep moving. Um, print map. I normally just like to do screenshots. You can do a lot more information that way. Export waypoints. You can export them as common delimited, Google Earth or GPX, which is a generic uh, language that most chart plotters understand and then you can burn it onto a chip and import the uh, waypoints that way manage waypoints uh, this is where you can go through and, and get information all your all your different uh, waypoints out there including your your custom ones um, let's see hilton's waypoints that's a good one this is where you can remove all the waypoints off of the image except for my custom ones it's like i've got a couple of custom ones in there um, so sometimes you're battling those it's just good to get rid of them um, you can also get rid of my custom waypoints so now all we're seeing is the hilton's waypoints it's, now they're all gone um, bring them back and this one I really like, it's show and hide waypoint names. It allows you to uh, keep the icons as reference, but gets rid of the text. Again, sometimes the text just gets in the way when you're looking at the imagery. Um, contour overlay, you can do this in all the different shots, get an idea of your, your depths. Um, 
I think that's a good introductory. Um, let me uh, sign out here and I'll sign right back in and we'll, we'll start going down the list of the different types of charts and, and how to deal with them. See you in a bit.